As you may know, we Marian Fathers have houses not only at the National Shrine of the Divine Mercy in Stockbridge, Massachusetts, but also in Steubenville, Ohio, Thompson, Connecticut, three in the Chicago area, two in the Kenosha, Wisconsin area, and right here in Washington, D.C. Hi, I'm Father Chris Alar, and very soon the voice of the people will determine the course of history, not just in the United States, but around the world. And with so much at stake, it is important that we exercise our duty as citizens to vote. Now, you're probably thinking, Father, I don't need a lecture. I already know who I'm going to vote for. I get that. And no, I'm not going to endorse any particular candidate or political party. But as a priest, I am obligated to inform you of a few things that you may or may not know concerning your moral obligation as a Christian. And this I can tell you, it has more to do than just saying, please register to vote. It has to do with your obligation before God, even before you vote. God requires that we do certain things in order to be his disciples. And interestingly, those are the very same things that will lead to what you do in the voting booth. First, we must inform our consciences. This sounds easy, but what does that entail? Do you know that our faith teaches that if we don't do this, we can even be in grave sin? The reason this is so important is because once we do this properly, we can then become better people. Then that leads to loving one another better, which leads us to being better citizens. And this is an obligation. And what is one of the best ways that we can be a good citizen is how we vote. As difficult as it may seem, the church teaches that we must vote by weighing certain issues more heavily than others. And this moral obligation is so great that several bishops have even said our eternal salvation may depend on how we cast our vote. This is not something to be taken lightly or to be ignored. So please pray hard before November 3rd that the Holy Spirit will enlighten your conscience. Now, as I said, this process is not easy. And sometimes we let our own emotions take over. That is why I want to share with you some surefire ways the church has always taught and how to inform our consciences through such tools as examines, Ignatian principles, as well as church teaching about what are the preeminent issues when we cast our vote this year. So please join me this Saturday, October 17th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time as I walk you through this process so that you can be made more fully aware what the church teaches and what you need to know before you vote. I promise this is not going to be my personal opinion, but the teachings revealed by God through his most holy church. So please join me again this Saturday. And remember, most of the world, thank God, still has free elections. So even if you're not in the United States, but anywhere else in the world, this talk is still critically important for you as well. You can join us on our YouTube channel, Divine Mercy, our Facebook page, Divine Mercy Official, or best yet, our webpage, thedivinemercy.org. So please remember to pray, pray hard before this most important day. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.